Hi everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be creating a card that features a window in the front and we're going to fill the window with acetate so that we can add some stamped images onto the window opening. Now I have a card that I've already created and I'll show you that one at the end, but for this one we're going to create the circle window. I'm going to be using the Beautiful Day and the Sending a Smile stamp sets. The Sending a Smile is the stamp set that I used in the previous card that I will show at the end of the video. And in this video today we're going to use Beautiful Day. I love the images in this stamp set because they work really nicely together to create some really cute springtime scenes. And if you want, you can actually mix and match the images and the sentiments between both of the sets. So what I've done is I've picked out the images that I want to use on my card design and I'm just stamping them onto a piece of white cardstock. This is Nina 80 pound cardstock and I'm stamping it with extreme black hybrid ink. This is a Copic friendly ink so I know that I'm going to be able to color with my Copics and I'm not going to have any worry of the ink bleeding or kind of running into each other. I did double stamp the images to get a nice dark black outline and now I'm going to use my Copic markers to color in the different flowers, the butterfly, and the mushroom. So I have the lids of the Copic markers on screen so you can see which colors I'm using and for the most part I'm using three of each color. In some cases I just use two depending on how big the area was I was coloring. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of using all of the colors mixed into each of the different images. So I want to kind of have this red coral color in all of the images. I'm going to do the same with the purple color I'm going to bring in and I'm also going to do it with the aqua. And this just really helps to make the card look really cohesive once I have all of the images together onto the card front. I love the smaller size of these images and I really love that all of the flowers and the butterfly and the mushroom have different areas kind of defined within them with the stamped outlines. It really allows you to create a really colorful bright card because you can incorporate so many different colors into the designs. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm making sure to add each of the different colors into all of the images. And I'm making sure to do all of the coloring of the same color at once. It just makes the process go a little bit quicker since I already have the markers out. So I've just kind of picked the different areas I want to add the different colors to and I'm just doing each image one at a time using that same marker color as I go. And when I get to the leaf images I have three different shades of green marker and what I'm doing is I'm using all three colors on that largest flower and I'm kind of blending all three colors together. And then for the two smaller flowers I just use the two darkest green colors which is going to give them a little bit of a different color. So you can definitely mix and match the various shades of the colors you're using which will kind of give you a little bit more options onto what the color looks like in the images. To finish off the mushroom, I just use a little bit of cool grays just to kind of make them look white in those areas. And then I use the coordinating dies to die cut all of the images. So now I have everything colored and die cut. We need to work on the card base, which is where we're going to create the window. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do some stamping onto a white cardstock panel. I have some grow gray ink and the typewriter text background stamp. I love the look of text stamped onto a background. And I like to keep it pretty subtle, so I'm using the Grout Gray ink, which is just a really soft gray ink color. I like to apply the ink directly to my stamp, which is laying on my work surface, and then I like to bring the cardstock directly to the stamp. And you can see now I have this really subtle text background that's going to add a little bit of detail to that background panel on our card front. I do want this to be slightly smaller than our card base, so I'm using the A2 Rectangle Stacks die set 2, and I've die cut that panel so it's a little bit smaller than our Limelight card base. This card base is an A2 size card which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And to create the circle, we're gonna use the circle stack dies to die cut a circle from the center of this panel. Now I'm just kind of playing around here trying to decide how big I want that circle to be. And I decided to go with this larger one and I'm just positioning it onto the panel where I want to die cut it. Now the panel isn't actually adhered down, I'm just holding it in place exactly where I want it. And I'm gonna run this through my die cutting machine with the card base open. And what that did is it left me with this window detail in both the panel as well as the card base. I also die cut another white circle with the same die I used on the card and I also die cut one slightly larger. So I used the larger circle stacks. And then I'm using the stitch snowdrift dies to die cut a little grassy piece from the circle that we die cut that's the same size as the window opening. And this is just going to make sure that this grass piece is going to fit perfectly into that window once we have it ready to assemble. So to add the color to the grass, I'm going to do the same as I did with the flowers and use my Copic markers. And I'm using the exact same three green colors that I used on the leaves on the flowers. This way I know everything is going to match perfectly when I put it together. I'm using the mini cloud edges stencil as well as some peacock feathers distress ink. And I'm adding cloud detail to the larger circle that I die cut. 
This is what we're going to add to the inside of the card. So we need it to be slightly larger than the window opening on the front. So now it's time to create the window on our card front. So I'm using this embossable window plastic and I'm just gonna lay it against the back of the panel and use my scissors to trim it down. Since it is a little bit larger than this panel since it's an A2 size piece of plastic, I just quickly went around and cut that smaller and I'm going to adhere it directly to this panel. So you just wanna make sure when you do trim it down that you leave enough around the edges to fully go around the circle. I added adhesive directly to the panel and then I put the acetate piece on top. Now I need to add the panel to my card base so I put more adhesive on the back of the panel and I just layered it on top of the card base knowing that everything is going to line up perfectly since we die cut it together. And now I have this really great acetate window in my card front which is what we're going to be able to build our scene on. Before we start to assemble the front of the card I'm just going to add the cloud circle on the inside. So I added adhesive to the back and positioned it over top of the circle opening and then closed the card to fully adhere that on the inside. So now when the card is closed, rather than seeing that green card base peeking through the window, you now see the cloud detail instead. Okay, so now it's time to put the outside of the card together. So I have all of the images that I colored and die cut earlier, and I'm just positioning these onto the acetate window. I have the card open so I can kind of use my grid mat as a guide to make sure I have my flowers straight up and down. And I adhered those three on first and then added my grass over top. This provides me a really cute scene where I have these large flowers kind of growing out of the grass and I love the overall look that it provides. To finish it off, I stamped a sentiment onto a little sentiment strip and attached that over the grass with the mushroom peeking out and then I also added the butterfly detail to the top area of the circle. So now when you open the card, you see this great window opening to the inside and then when the card is closed, you see the clouds in the background. I really love the look of this. It's quick and easy to do and just adds a lot of interest to a card. To finish this one off, I decided to add some clear gems kind of scattered around on the card base. And then I also used my Nouveau glitter pen to add a little bit of sparkle detail to some of the flowers and the butterfly. And then I'm going to finish it off by adding some Nouveau glaze to the center of the flower and then also to the circle details on the butterfly. So now we have a beautiful, colorful springtime scene with that unexpected window kind of in behind there. And here's the card I mentioned at the beginning of the video. This was created in the exact same way, but rather than using the circle, I decided to make this window a rectangle. And I also wanted to mention quickly that when you open the card, you can see those images through that window opening. If that bothers you, you can just go ahead and die cut that same die one more time from white cardstock and just adhere it onto the inside of the card and that will cover it up and give it a more finished look. It didn't really bother me, so I left mine plain, but that's definitely an option if you prefer it. So just a fun, quick way to make some cute window cards with some really colorful images, perfect for spring. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some ideas. I hope to see you in another video soon, and I thank you so much for watching.